how is it going Samsung users Mr. Android here. In this video, I will talk about 6 amazing features that you should enable on your Samsung Galaxy device right now. Well, all these tips, tricks and hidden features that I am about to show you are extremely useful. So I will suggest you to watch the entire video. Also, if you love Samsung devices, then don't forget to smash that like button. We need to complete 2000 likes on this video. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first thing first, let me show you how you can copy anything from your phone. For example, if I go to YouTube and open any video, it doesn't allow me to copy anything from the description. In situations like this, you have to install a third party application from the Play Store. But if you own a Samsung phone, then you don't have to do any such thing. To copy text from anywhere on your screen or if you want to copy anything on a picture, all you need to do is, you need to take advantage of this edge panel. Just go to your settings, display, edge panel, make sure you have turned this on. Then select panels and enable smart select. Now if you want to copy anything from anywhere, simply swipe from the edges and select rectangle. Then select the area you want to copy, tap on done and click extract text. Now you can copy the entire thing or a specific part that you would like to copy. I think it's a very useful feature, definitely try it out. Next is how you can view the deleted message in WhatsApp. If you go inside the notifications, advanced settings, here you will find something called as notification history. Simply enable this option. Now whenever your friend or a relative delete a message that they have sent, it will show as message deleted in WhatsApp. But if you want, you can view the deleted message. Simply go to your notifications and then to notification history. Scroll it down, click on WhatsApp notification and here you can easily see all the deleted messages from your friends. Since you are using a Samsung Galaxy phone, you don't have to install any untrusted applications. It has a lot of inbuilt features. You just need to find them. On my Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, if I swipe left, I get this Google feed, which I think is more useful than the Samsung free that you get in most other Samsung devices. So if you don't have this feature on your device, today I will show you the best alternative to access the Google feed. First, head over to your Play Store and make sure you have already installed the Google application. Once it's done, now go to settings and search site key. Simply go inside and configure the double press action to open app. Here you need to select the Google app that you have just installed on your phone. And that's it. Now whenever you want to access your Google feed, you just have to double press the power button. Since Samsung is yet to roll out this feature to all devices, I think this is one of the quickest way for accessing Google feed. There has been times when your friend or a relative ask your Wi-Fi password and you cannot deny them. In such scenarios, instead of giving your Wi-Fi password, which is definitely not the safest thing to do, you just go to your Wi-Fi connections, click on this gear icon, below you will see this QR code icon. Simply select it and ask your friend to scan this QR code. This way, your friend device will get connected to your Wi-Fi network without the need of sharing the password. This trick is not exclusive for Samsung phones. So if you have any other brand device, you can still make use of this awesome hidden feature. Next, let's talk about the share panel that we get while sharing anything on our phones. This screen is filled with all the unnecessary apps that we don't even use. But the cool thing is, you can customize and choose only the apps that you like to appear on this panel. All you have to do is install GoodLock from the Galaxy Store and then install the home up module. Just go inside home up, you will find the option called share manager. Simply select and then select share applications. Here you can select the apps you want to see in the share panel. Once you are done, now if you want to share anything, your share panel will look less cluttery and more organized. Guys, GoodLock has a lot of cool features like this. So if you want to see all the amazing features of GoodLock, then I have already made a dedicated video on this. Make sure you watch that as well. Finally, we have something called as focus mode. Just go to your phone setting, then into digital well-being to set up the focus mode. Basically, it's like D&D, &D, which helps you to avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus. For example, you can add all your productive apps in work time, so you don't get any notifications from any other app that is not included in the list. And you can also set for how long the focus mode should last for. To activate this focus mode, simply swipe down the notification panel, look for focus mode, and select the focus mode that you want to activate. Now you will only able to access your work related applications that you had selected and you will only get notifications from these apps. Similarly, you can set up mini focus mode and activate them as per your requirement. So that's pretty much it guys. These are some amazing tips, tricks and hidden features that you should enable on your Samsung Galaxy device right now. 
If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.